Hello, I have just completed the Productive R Workflow course and in this video I want to show you what the course is about, how I liked it and what I have learned so that at the end you can decide whether this course is something for you as well. Your current workflow might look something like this. You have your data and you analyze it with R in R Studio, and at the end your results and report are produced in Excel or PowerPoint. Now if your projects become a bit more complex, you might have clients or reviewers involved that come back with requests, changes, corrections, and you have to produce some additional analysis. And the Productive R Workflow course teaches you how to set up everything in a way that these changes can be done quickly and without much manual work, which usually produces a lot of stress and frustration. And you learn how to write reports in Quartor or with our markdown that you can then turn into HTML files or PDFs. And you also learn that when you work together with others, colleagues or collaborators, that it can be helpful to share your code or collaborate on GitHub by using GitHub desktop software. The course consists of four modules, teaches you how to clean your code, make a report and then introduce interactivity and polish it and then share it on GitHub. Each module comes with many lessons. The first two are free for you to explore. Usually they they are five to 10 minutes long. There's another free lesson in the second module. And here's an overview of the course content. There's also a bonus section that's still work in progress for four out of five parts, which means that the course is still growing with some additional content coming in the future. And personally, I had some experience in all of these modules. I have a GitHub account and I shared files in the past. I used the Markdown language to produce PDFs, even though I never used Quarto, but I never really used projects in R Studio and made many of the mistakes that the author of the course wants you to avoid. So it was really nice to see a really well-structured walkthrough to learn how to use these different tools properly. Which brings me to the summary of what I liked. First of all, it's very concise and well-structured. The author doesn't want you to waste any time and he gets straight to the point. At the beginning of each lesson, there's a clearly stated problem and then comes the solution with a step-by-step instruction on how to implement it and then usually the lessons end with some homework where you then can implement what you've just learned. The course uses relevant examples so it feels like you're not just learning some theoretical stuff but things that you would actually implement in your day-to-day -day analysis. It is interactive and practical which means that at the end you often have an interactive quiz and when you get the answer right, you get some nice animations. Also, when you learn something, you often have some function arguments where you can actually see how it would change your report. You also see animations of how reports would work. So it feels more like a teaching experience where someone is there with you showing you what the things would look like in practice. And even though it's rather concise, there's always some additional resources the lessons linked to in case you want to explore some of the topics further and as I said the course is still growing there will be additional material and something that I really liked at the end when I struggled a little bit with the final report you can contact the author directly on a discord server or even by email so that's an absolute bonus if you get stuck at some point there will be people that help you progressing. So there was nothing in the course that I did not like. The only things that could be improved in the future is it would be nice to have some resources tab that gives you an overview of all the external links. Also, the four different modules with the 30 lessons would be nice to have a one-page summary of each module as a printout to have some visual representation of what was covered. So you learn the lesson step by step and it's easy to follow, but I had some struggles with the GitHub desktop software and there a short video of a screen recording on how to use the software could have been helpful. And the price might be a bit high for some people. There are students and group discounts as well as a 50% discount for people from low income countries. But keep in mind, a high price can also be a motivator to actually finish the course and you want this to be a good investment. As it stands now, the course is currently at $149 and I probably would have not paid that much for the course, even though now in hindsight, I think it's absolutely worth it. I was lucky that I bought the course at $50 when there was only the first module available, but I was certain that this course is for me because I knew I could improve my workflow by having it much more automated. And I knew Jan Holz from his other websites, like the Rgraph Gallery, which is a website that I have used in the past to produce my ggplot tutorials 
No, it's 149, but you can see there are a ton of positive reviews from other people who found the course valuable and helpful. If you're already an expert and you don't struggle with your workflow as it is, you manage complex projects, then probably don't need this course. Also, when you're an absolute beginner and you don't know if you will use R in the future, but for the vast majority in between learning, the different lessons will help you a lot in the future to just finish your projects faster and with less stress. And if you really can't afford it, then keep following him on Twitter where he gives away free advice and keep in mind that this workflow overall from analysis to report and a well-organized portfolio of your code is important nonetheless so you have to learn it in some way this course is just really quick to accomplish it and in order to get your certificate of completion you have to share a project with the author that includes a quadro file and an html file and based on alex hormozzi's definition of learning this makes absolute sense you should show that you are capable of implementing the different lessons understanding the definition of learning i think is important and so i define learning as same circumstance different behavior which means that if you continue to act the same way in the same circumstance you have learned nothing and so if you go through a semester and your circumstances have not changed and neither has your behavior you have learned nothing so the fact that you have knowledge in your head but you do nothing with it means you actually haven't learned anything and for me i can say that in the future my workflow has definitely improved and i redid a little project i had already analyzed but now all the steps are much better separated from cleaning the data creating different data frames in the folder i have all the different rds files and in the end i was able to produce a report that comes out as a properly formatted website with some images and tables good old r charts and even some interactive charts that i could quickly produce and even some interactive tables that you can sort by clicking through and filter and it's something I did not know how to do before the course. I will link to his course in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you plan on looking into it. On the website you get more information from him. My final word is 5 out of 5 points or 5 stars. I really liked this course. It was teaching done right and I'm happy that I took it. Until next time here at the Data Digest.